Hey guys, here's a workout of the week. It's a kettlebell workout, one that can be used as a finisher or as an entire workout, like a lot of these uh, workouts of the week. Hit a full body and it's a way to have some fun as well. This is a kettlebell complex. So what that means is you're gonna do a variety of exercises uh, without putting the weight down. So you're gonna try to not stop or put the weight down. Now, when you do a complex, there's a lot of ways you can do it. You can go heavier for less reps. Um, lighter weight for higher reps, uh, finding out what, well, I mean, obviously what your goals are currently and um, really what you're comfortable with and what you can do. Definitely don't go, don't go too crazy with a lot of weight and complex because they are, they get very tiring. But uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to do multiple exercises back to back to back to back without ever switching implements or putting the implement down at all. So um, this involves a lot of squats and then a few different kettlebell exercises. So we're going to do eight reps of everything um, and these are the exercises. You're going to do goblet squats in between every single exercise. So you're going to start with eight goblet squats. So just goblet squats bringing that kettlebell up to the chest and you just good nice squat. So full range of motion keeping your chest upright, head upright, all that weight back in your heels and up. So you're going to do eight of those. You're going to do eight squats in between every exercise. First of uh, the series of exercises are snatches, so kettlebell snatches. So we're going to go right from the floor with these. So you'll have the kettlebell right between your feet, maybe slightly out, but try to get them right between your feet. And then you're just going to do a, a like a kettlebell or dumbbell snatch would. So you're going to come up and you're going to stick that above your head. So you snap that above your head and then back down. So keeping it, show your chest the whole time, drive through the floor, stick that above your head. So you're gonna do eight with each arm. Again, start very, very light. Um, and I'll link to some videos really teaching the snatch and the clean and some of these things that we'll do. Uh, get the movement down first. If you never used a kettlebell, don't just jump right into the complex, just learn the exercises. But So you do your squat snatches, each arm. So that's eight with the right, eight with the left. Then you do eight more squats. After the squats, you're gonna go to the next exercise, which is a clean. And you can do a full clean or like a, a power clean. So from the floor, instead of going above your head, you're gonna pull it and it's gonna rack up on your arm and shoulder. And now if you want to, you can pause it right there or from the floor, clean it down into that squat and up. And then it's back down, cleaning it to the, to the arm and down, or again, just coming up, cleaning it, racking it on that arm. So again, eight with each side and then eight more squats. And then the next one is gonna be a push press. So you're gonna grab that kettlebell, rack it in front of your shoulder, and then push press above your head, and then back down. Push press above your head, and then back down. Try to stick that straight up. If you have any type of shoulder issues when you press above head, just negate that all together. So that's eight push presses with the right, eight push presses with the left, and then back to eight more goblet squats. After that, you're gonna do a clean and then a press. So you're gonna combine the clean and the press. So from the floor, come up to that clean position, then press above the head, and back down, clean, press above the head. Eight with the right, eight with the left. Make sure you're in control of that weight the whole time. After the cleaner presses, eight more, eight more goblet squats with, not with each arm, not with arms at all, with your legs. Grip the kettlebell with both arms, I guess. Uh, and then the last exercise are swings. So you're gonna do one arm swing. So you're gonna do eight with the right, eight with the left. So now remember, hinge at the hips, pushing that butt backward. Let that kettlebell fall like right between your knees not higher, not the big round down, and not the big squatting down. So hinge back, butt back, swing up, swing, hinge back, swing up, eight with the right, eight with the left, and then you're gonna finish with those eight last goblet squats. Um, so that is the whole workout. So that could take you quite a bit of time. You might be able to breeze through that. You might have to adjust the weight accordingly, but it's a killer. So it's a lot of work. You're gonna be very tired halfway through. Because again, you're trying to move as fast as you can with good form without putting that weight down. So that is a great finisher to the end of a workout. So you get your whole strength session in or whatever it is you're doing, you can put that at the end as a finisher and maybe just do one round, maybe two, or again, use this as your whole workout. Uh, time your rounds and try to rest. Um, a good way to do this would be try to rest for the amount of time it took you. So, or, and then maybe try to slightly shorten that, slightly shorten that over time, but that took you four and a half minutes to complete that whole round, rest for four and a half minutes and do it again. And again, use that as your whole workout, do that for three to five rounds and uh, that'll be a great, great workout. Do that three times this week. 
Uh, you hit all your body parts, try to progress each time, you know, try to get improve a little more, a little more uh, with each time you do it. And uh, if you have any questions, please email me, let me know, but it's a great one. Let's get fit.